doing those finishing touches on your app can sometimes be quite difficult. So we are going to learn in this video how we can take animations from the animation package and then implement those into our app. So if we just take a look at what we actually have as a start out or as a start application, we have a very simple application which has a indexed stack to display these tabs. For the tabs, we have used a very simple list view with items. We cannot press on any of them, but what we want to happen is when we press on them, we want to navigate to a new page. But of course, we want to do it with an animation. These tabs are also going to be animated, which is going to give a nice or smooth fade effect. And then for the last thing we're going to animate is going to be this dialog. And when we press this dialog, it will be animated with a fade scale effect. So going back and looking at the code, we can see that I've already built up this structure. So if we take a look at the homepage, we have a simple index stack with some index, which is going to be the index that we select, and then the tabs. And the tabs is just the home tab, business tab, and school tab. And these are super, super duper simple. We have used a list view with a build tile or list tile. And then for the other pages, we have uh, a center and some text and button and just a center and a text. So to start this off, we're going to close the main file, going to go to home page, and we're going to start with the um, list tiles. So if we go to the home tab, this is going to contain the list tile. And instead of returning the list tile right away, we want to use the animation. So to do that, we're just simply going to cut this out for now and we're going to have a open container and this is as you can see imported from the animation package so if you don't have that you just have to import it and if you just look at the public yaml really fast this is how you import it and the version will vary depending on when you're watching this video so we go back we can see that this is requiring some things to work so we have to have a close builder and that will be represented for how the widget will look when it's closed. So in this sense, the actual list tile. So if we implement the closed builder, it's going to have a, if we actually do this, we can see that this requires a context and action. So the context, self-explanatory gets from the context, we have the action and the action will be what uh, if we call this, we're actually going to call um, the close builder uh, or close action. So for example, we can pass this to the to the widget and that will be then going to open the widget to the open container. But we don't need to do that because I'm going to show you why. Um, because, or I can actually explain now, these are actually going to be called for standard if you press the item which are inside this builder, but we could pass it down to the widget if we want to have, for example, another button to call this. So for the close builder, we're simply going to return the uh, build list tile and then pass the index. And the reason I'm passing the index is because I don't have any objects to work with. So I'm used displaying an index. So that makes more sense. For the open container, which is going to be responsible for, for how it's going to look when we're actually opening or opening these um, widgets. And that will be responsible for what the page will be when we actually select this widget. So in this example, it will be the selected item page. And the selected item, in this case, this is just the index again. So now, if we actually save this and we go back to the code and I'm just going to restart this really fast. We can see that we have these items still, but now if we click on them, we can see that we are getting this nice animation opening from these list tiles. Now we can see though that we have this kind of card view and that's because all of these are cards. So you could have a separator between them or if you want to have that, we can also leverage or change this elevation. So going back to the code, we can see that open container actually has some uh, properties for us. And I'm, we're just going to set, uh, for example, the closed elevation to zero. Looking back now at the code, 
it looks like we have to reset it again. We can see that we don't have any elevation. The card is still white because that's the, uh, the standard color. But we can change that, of course, as well. We're not going to bother with that for now. But now we have that animation for the display styles. So the next step we're going to do is implement the animations for changing the tabs. So to do that, we're going to go to the home page, which is responsible for that. So as of now, we have an indexed stack. I'm just going to push this down so you can see the other implementation we're going to have. So instead of an index tab, we're going to have a page transition switcher. And that will require a new parameter, which is the transition builder. And that requires a child, primary animation, and secondary animation. So this child is going to be the child that we want to display. So in the, uh, uh, I don't forgot, uh, I forgot the name now, but the indexed thing, let's see what the name was, <laughs> the index stack. So instead of the index stack, we had children, which was going to select the right tab depending on the selected index. We instead of going to have children, have a child, and that will be tabs on the spot of or index of the selected index. So now we have to, this child will actually be this one we get in the transition builder. So what we're going to do with this child is that we're going to return a new widget. And this widget is going to be a um, fade through page transition. And if I just close this and format it, we can take a animation and that will be the primary animation that we get from the parameter or the transition builder. The secondary animation is of course the secondary animation. And then we're going to have a child, which is the child we get from the builder. So now again, if we refresh this, go to our application and just switch tabs, we can see that we already now have a nice switching animation, not giving that stuttering stale look, but giving it a nice fading animation for the, uh, for the pages. So now for the last animation we're going to implement, is going to be, actually if we just show this again, it's going to be, It's going to be when we press this button and this dialogue is going to appear. And this is actually one of the most simple animations I ever seen. I posted this on Twitter and it's gotten quite a lot of people to actually retweet and like. So this will be very fast to show you. So if we go back to the code, we're going to go to the business tab. So as of now, we have a show dialogue but we don't want to have a show dialog anymore because show dialog doesn't give us a, a parameter for the animation or we could implement the custom animations, but why bother when we can have the complete animations as of now? So we're going to, instead of having a show dialog, we're going to have this show model. And this show model actually comes from the animation package. And then we actually just have to do one more thing, which is give it a configuration. And this configuration, if we just check this, is of type model configuration. And there's a bunch of different configurations we can have. So we're going to have the failed scale transition configuration. And that's all. That's literally all we have to do. So let's refresh this, look at the application, go to the business tab, open the dialog and you can see that we already have a nice fading scaling animation. That's all we had to do to implement these three animations. We have the list tile, we have the tabs, and we have the display dialog. If you like this video, please let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. There will probably pop up some videos up here, so click them, please. It helps. Uh, if you would like to, you can support me on Patreon down in the description. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye.